because of my age, I feel that I have memories of definitely the UK, of England in particular, at a time when it was um, in a much better natural state. It was still probably far more depleted than I had any idea of. But I was, I knew, I, I, I saw butterflies and insects and in far greater quantities than, than are present now. And yeah, yeah, I have that memory and that's bound to make a difference and we've watched it decline and I feel I feel a sense of responsibility towards the younger generation that although I was aware of it and probably tried to do one or two things I didn't shout loudly about it and I feel a sense of responsibility apart from desperate sadness. They definitely do, yes. Yeah, yeah. Th they share that sense of, um, if responsibility is the right word, at least a sense that we were part of that generation and we didn't do enough. Um, and, you know, we, we didn't do enough to stop nuclear weapons either and, and all the other things. I think being older, we get quite a good response from a lot of young people, particularly um, the sixth form students in Durham and, and some of the university students. Um, not always from just young people who are rushing through with their shopping trip, but I think it is it is easier for us, being older, that we can go up and approach people. Um, I mean, they might think we're very strange, weird old people, but I don't think they're frightened of us or alarmed by us. And it is quite surprising, actually, how many people are happy to, to engage in conversation if they're not busy, if they're not rushing somewhere. Some people, I mean, my limited experience of talking to people in Durham Marketplace, some people would say, well, it's a natural cycle. Some people will say, well, there's nothing we can do about it anyway. Some people will say, well, it's China's the problem. Um, and a few people will say, I do what I can. I put on an extra jumper or I... I reduce the amount of meat I eat. Um, but they're the few, I think. Well, my favourite phrase, which probably comes from Extinction Re Rebellion, I don't know, is that action is the antidote to despair. Action is the antidote to de despair. <laughs> and um, I would f could easily feel utter despair and when I think sometimes about the future that my grandchildren will have to face I can feel despair but I I also feel that there, that there is some hope that there are some really really good people who are doing a lot of good things whether they're scientists or environmental um, activists or scientists working in the environmental area, that there are a lot of good things going on. And I don't think it's necessarily going to be technology, technological solutions that, um, that are the only way forward. I think it's going to be for example, farmers deciding to improve the soil and um, 
a whole host, you know, gardeners deciding not to use peat compost. It's, it's a whole host of things, I think, that are going to make the change. And I am positive about the growing, growing number of people who are deciding to take some action. I think young people will decide not to buy um, fast fashion items. I, th I think they will decide to not necessarily to be vegan, but will to start to think about their food in terms of the effect on the climate. Whether we'll, whether people will start to travel less, I don't know. That sometimes makes me quite depressed. We need each other to to be able to um, to do anything. Actually, we we need the support of each other, um, and I think that's very that's beneficial in ev ev all the members' lives to to feel that there are other people who who think like they do, who are concerned. And at the same time, I think that then allows us to go off and be with our families and have a have a happy time. It's it's not you don't want to carry this weight all the time. It's it's um, it's really important to to also enjoy life.